start, I just want to thank Vloggers Philippines. Hello, mga kavipi. Hello, baka ma, ma ano ko dito, matut yung ganon mga bad words na. Okay. It's actually the act of saying the words properly using the correct sounds with their super hero. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Or if you're new here, my name is Chrissy and this is my passion project. Before we start, I just want to thank Vloggers Philippines, hello mga kavipi, for their very warm welcome when I joined the community early this month. Yes, so sa mga hindi po nakakalam ang Vloggers Philippines ay isang support group or a community created for aspiring vloggers, for those who just started to explore the world of vlogging, and for any content creators alike, no matter what stage they're in in this journey. So for those who also wanted to be a part of this community, you are very much welcome. Okay, uh, you just have to take note though that in this community, bawal po or hindi encouraged ang mga VLCS, mga sub for sub, sub to sub, whatever you call it. And whenever you uh, need to, whenever you want to post anything sa community page, well, uh, you have to follow certain rules and guidelines and formats basically. This group is different from other groups that you may have joined before. Okay, hindi po dito sa pilitan ang pag pag subscribe sa isat isa o pag view pag like, okay, pag comment hindi po yan required. Okay, so walang sa pilitan malino yan ha. Okay, well after hearing all that and you're still interested to join, that means it's the right community for you and you love it there. All right, so ano nga bang pag-uusapan natin today? Well, I thought of creating a new series whereby I'll be sharing tidbits of information about the things I am passionate about. Well, examples na lang yan yung mga tips, mga how-tos, um, mga vocal exercises, mga pronunciation drills, yung mga ganyan, mga tongue twisters and all that, okay? Na nakatulong sa akin and maybe makakatulong rin sa inyo as you, uh, as you actually work on improving your speech. Kasi very important yan dito sa pag-vlog, okay? And uh, sa maraming bagay, basically. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm an expert or I... I'm claiming to be a professional in this field, okay? So not in any way, not at all. I just really want to share the things I've learned along the way, okay? Pass on some information that I think you or others may find useful too. Okay, so without further duck duck, let's go jump into the video. So today I decided to discuss three terminologies that we usually encounter when we talk about speech. Okay, itong tatlong terms na to, or words na to, lagi natin silang um, na iisip na pare-pareho lang naman ang ibig sabihin yan. Or if we were asked to explain what they mean, okay, or what's the difference among those three, hindi natin ma-distinguish talaga yung difference nila. Okay, so ano nga ba yung mga words na sinasabi ko? Okay, number one would be articulation. Okay, articulation. Number two would be enunciation enunciation and number three would be pronunciation pronunciation o oh, aminin nyo parang pare-pareho lang ibig sabihin ng tatlo di ba di ba mm -mm. ako din dati nalilito ako diyan kung ano ibig sabihin pero syempre nung interesado na ako sa mga yung pag-improve ng voice and speech or speaking abilities then ayun uh, tiningnan ko na kung anong ibig sabihin noon para naman maiintindihan ko kapag sinabihan ako na okay you have to improve your enunciation or you have to improve your pronunciation so does it mean the same thing no Okay, so ngayon, yun yung gusto kong ishare sa inyo kung ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba-iba ng tatlong words na to. Let's begin with articulation. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng articulation? Well, it actually means the physical act of using the parts of your mouth and your breath to create the sounds and form the words. Okay, so ibig sabihin daw nun yung paggamit mo ng mga parte ng bibig mo like your lips, your tongue, your teeth, your jaw, your palate, and your breath, 
Okay, para magawa mo yung mga tunog na kailangan sa pagbuo at pagbigkas ng mga salita. Okay, example na lang yan yung TH, ba? Diba? So, para ma-pronounce mo yung TH, words na may TH sa unahan. Like, for example, uh, there, the, these. Okay, so, yung placing ng, ng dila mo in between your front teeth, it's very instrumental for you to be able to say the words starting with TH. Okay, pag hindi, mo, pag hindi tama yung pag-place mo ng dila mo in between ng, ng front teeth mo, ibig sabihin nun, you cannot articulate the words starting with TH. Okay, so you could, you could say that, you can use that in a sentence like that. Okay, number two would be enunciation. What do we mean by enunciation? It's actually the act of uh, saying the words clearly and concisely. Okay, those are the key words there. Clearly and concisely. Malinaw daw. Okay, malinaw daw dapat ang pagbigkas natin sa mga salita upang maintindihan tayo ng ating mga kausap. So, ibig sabihin nito yung mga salita dapat buo mo siyang nabibigkas. Okay, hindi yung sinu-shortcut mo lahat tapos to the point na parang you're mumbling to yourself or it sounds muffled na sa kausap mo. Okay, so dito rin importante yung speed. Okay, you have to regulate the speed of uh, the words and the sentences. Whatever you're saying, you have to regulate the speed so that it can clearly come across to the audience or to the person you're talking to. Mm-mm, ganun yun. So yun yung enunciation. Clear daw dapat ang pagkakabigkas mo ng mga salita. On to our third and final word for the day, pronunciation. So what do we mean by pronunciation? It's actually the act of saying the words properly using the correct sounds. So parang nalito na tayo lalo din. <laughs> parang kasi pare-pareho siya. I'll try to break it down. So, sabi nila kasi, yung pronunciation daw means uh, tama daw ang pagkakabikas mo sa mga salita. So, paano mo masasabing tama ang pagkakabikas mo? Ibig sabihin, there is a standard. There is a set way of pronouncing those words. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag uh, iba yung pagkakapronounce mo, parang mali na yun, or it could mean something else. Okay, bigyan ko kayo ng example. Okay, two words. This and these. T-H-I-S versus T-H-E-S-E. So, this is singular, di ba? And these is plural. Okay? So, yun palang magkaiba na ibig sabihin niya. So, you have to distinguish the way you pronounce those two words. It has to be different. Okay? That's why it's very important that we know how to pronounce the words correctly. Okay, pero meron din namang mga words na may dalawang acceptable na pronunciation. Common example na lang yan yung, um, yung tomato, tomato. ba? Diba? Potato, potato. Diba lagi natin naririnig yan sa mga TV series? Oh, tomato, tomato. Ibig sabihin, it's just the same. Okay? It's just that it may sound differently and both are actually acceptable as correct pronunciations of those words. Yep, so I hope you understood the difference between the three. I think that's it for the terms that I would like to share with you today. And um, what better way to practice these three, articulation, enunciation, and pronunciation, other than doing tongue twisters? Okay, sige, gagawa tayo ng mga tongue twisters today. Bilang pahabol sa buwan ng wika sa mahal kong Pilipinas, di ba? So, sa tongue twister na lang ako babawi, okay? Ginugol ko pa talaga kung ano yung tongue twister sa Tagalog. Tama ba? Mga Pilipit di lang mga pangungusap. Oh, di ba? Ang haba. Tongue twister lang pero ang haba na nang sinabi ko in Filipino. <laughs> Okay, so for the tongue twisters that I'll be using in this video, I got them from the Filipino Times. Meron silang tatlong um, levels or categories, kung ano man tawag dito. Easy, moderate, and difficult. So for the easy, first they have Shopao, Shomai, Suman. Shopao, Shomai, Suman. Shopao, Som... <laughs> Malina agad. Ang bagal pa, malina agad. Shopao, shomai, suman. Shopao, shomai, suman. Shopao, shomai, suman. Shopao, shomai, suman. Good job, okay, girl. next would be, number two is, nakakapagpabagabag kapag kinakabag ka. Nakakapagpabagabag kapag kinakabag ka. Nakakapagpabagabag kapag kinakabag ka. Nakakapagpabagabag kapag kinakabag ka. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, third one would be Bituka Butika Butiki. Oh, ito, very common to, di ba? Lagi natin ito naririnig na tongue twister. Okay, again, Bituka Butika Butiki. Bituka Butika Butiki. Bituka Butika Butiki. Bituka Butika Butiki. Yan. Pwede nyo pang gawing mas mabilis, pero mas mahirap na yun, di ba? Ay, nasa isip pa nga lang tayo para pinagpapawisan ako. <laughs> okay, next one would be medium, okay? Okay, pitumput pitong puting tupa. Oh, yes, it's uh, another common tongue twister. Pitumput pitong puting tupa. Pitumput pitong Pitumput pitong puting tupa. Okay, pitumput pitong puting tupa. Pitumput pitong puting tupa. Pitumput pitong puting tupa. Hmm... Alright, so sunod would be Sinusi ni Susan ang sisidlan ng sisiw. Susan locked the chick's cage. Ah, cage pala yung sisidlan? Akala ko ano yung sisidlan, bag or lalagyan, kahit anong lalagyan. Okay, anyway. Okay, gawin natin to. Sinusi ni Susan ang sisidlan ng sisiw. Okay. Sinusi ni Susan ang sisidlan ng sisiw. Sinusi ni Susan ang sisidlan ng sisiw. Sinusi ni Susan ang sisidlan ng sisiw. Medyo mahirap yun, ha? Pero... Kinaya naman. Okay, dito na tayo sa difficult. Nako. Papawisan ng mga kilikili ko dito. <laughs> okay, difficult. Um, okay, una. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong... Mali. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong patong patong. Hala, baka ma, ma... Ano ko dito? Matut! Yung ganon. Mga bad words na. Okay. Itutut ko naman, I, 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 ano, ano ba tawag doon? I-sensor ko kapag, kapag ano, nakapagmura ako accidentally. <laughs> okay. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong patong patong. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio. <laughs> Mali, ang hirap nga, difficult nga. Okay, again. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong patong patong. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong patong patong. Pinaputi ni Tepiterio ang pitong puting putong patong patong. <sighs> Wow, oh, I survived. <laughs> okay, next one. Last one, actually. Okay, palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Ano yung kumakalabukab? Ano yung palakang kabkab? Hindi ko alam to. Wala rin siyang translation. Siguro hindi rin alam ng author. <laughs> okay, so ito na yung last. Again, palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Mm. Haba ah. Okay, let me try this one. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab, kumakalabukab pa lamang. Mali. Again. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. <laughs> Last na. Again, again, again. Last na. Promise. Okay. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab. Kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab, kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Palakang kabkab, kumakalabukab, kakakalabukab pa lamang, kumakalabukab na naman. Yeah. Good job, girl! Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do consider subscribing, okay? And hit that notification bell so that you can get updated whenever I have new uploads. Yes. Okay, thank you so much once again. My name is Chrissy, creating to express and inspire. Bye guys, see you on the next one.